Have you ever published a YouTube video and then realized there was some kind of a boo-boo in there? Your options to fix a mistake in a video that's already published are pretty limited. If it's something I just published within the last few minutes when I find the mistake, I'll take it down, edit it, and republish a new video. But if you've got a video that's been up for a while and it's gaining some traction and getting some views, you've got to make a choice. On one hand, you don't want to take that video down and lose all your progress because even though you're going to be uploading the same video just without the mistake, it's a whole entirely new video as far as the YouTube universe is concerned. But you also don't want to leave bad or incorrect information out there. That's no good either. What if the video doesn't necessarily have a mistake, but there's new or updated information out there that the viewers should know? Well, that's the exact situation that I'm in, and I found a fix, a feature that's been a part of YouTube for two years, and I just learned about it. It's called corrections. Let me show you how it works. Here on this channel, Accelerator, I have this this video about NVIDIA AI. It's a combination of a review and a tutorial where I walk through how NVIDIA works and what I think of it overall. People are watching and commenting and that's awesome, but recently NVIDIA just updated their user interface to version 2.0. There's a couple of changes in how things work and a few features that didn't exist when I created this video five months ago. I think there's still good information in this video, so I don't want to pull it down altogether, but I would like anybody that watches this video to know there's been an update and if they want more information about that I've got them covered in this video. So what I've done using YouTube's corrections feature is I've come into my YouTube studio and I have located that first video and I clicked on edit and I'm in here where you would edit the description or edit the title or any of those things. Down at the very end of my description you can see that I added the word correction and then I added a timestamp 00 05. So five seconds in, and there I added the note, NVIDIA AI has updated to version 2.0. See my updated review and tutorial video, and then I put a link to the new video. And now you're saying, great, you put a note in your description. So what? Nobody's going to read it. Well, you might be right, except that by formatting this the way YouTube said, when someone watches this video, you'll see this view correction thing pop up five seconds into the video. And then if you click on that, it brings you down here to the bottom of the video description, which right below that are the visual chapters. And then below that, we now have corrections. And in this correction, it says at 05, so that's five seconds, NVIDIA AI has updated to version 2.0. See my updated review and tutorial. Now I realize it does not have the link right out here next to that as I typed in, but right above the visualization of the chapters and right under where we have the times of the chapters typed in our description, this correction also exists exactly how I wrote it, so the link is right there. I've also taken this a step further and in the pinned comment right at the top, I've added this note as well. So with that correction note appearing on the screen and clicking it, bringing you down into this neighborhood, I'm hopeful that this can help get viewers to the most up-to-date information. Now, I've seen some discussion group conversations where people say, oh, it doesn't work anymore, it doesn't work for me, or the videos that tell you how to do this are all a scam. Here it is from the YouTube help section. It's under the available video settings. It tells you about your title, your description, and it's just sort of tucked in here in the description area. And it says, for corrections in your video, add correction colon or corrections with an S colon. Correction or corrections must be in English regardless of the language of the video or the rest of the description. On a separate line, you can add a timestamp and explanation of your correction. For example, correction colon 0 colon 35, reason for correction. Reason for correction would be your reason for correction. In my case, it was the note that in video now had a version 2.0. It says you have to put this section after any video chapters. My chapters are at the end of the video description. So that said to me, put this at the very end of the description after all those chapters. When your audience watches, that's when they'll see the view corrections card. Then it goes on to talk about formatted text in your descriptions and the total length of characters for the descriptions. But down here at the bottom, it has this note that says if the channel has any active strike or if the content may be inappropriate to some viewers, the corrections feature won't be available. So if you have strikes, it's not going to work. If YouTube thinks the content might be inappropriate, not going to work. Something that had me hemmed up with this is it does seem like it takes a couple of minutes for this to work its way through the internet and show up the right way. 
so I went in and did all this. I put in the correction colon, went to the next line, did the timestamp, the reason for the correction, and then added my video link there. And I went and looked and it wasn't working. And I said, well, maybe it's mad that I put a link in there. Let me go back and take that out and try it again. Well, by the time I did that and I went back in, then I realized it was working. It just took a minute. So patience is a good thing. I've got another situation. If we go back to my channel content here, I put out a series of videos on Leonardo AI, and it seems like most folks have really been enjoying those. The problem is just a few weeks after I put them out, Leonardo went and overhauled the image generation interface and completely changed everything, at least the default. The interesting thing, the Leonardo's V2 image generation layout, yeah, I know everything's V2 these days. There's some features that you can't get to from that new default layout. So if you're brand new to Leonardo, you'll go in there, you'll see this new layout, you'll be working away and happy, you won't know those other things exist. But if you come watch one of these videos I made before the V2 came out and it was the default, I'm talking about a lot of other features that are either in different places or that you can't find from the new layout. But one click of a button gets you there. So these videos still have a lot of information in them. I just need to let viewers know that in order to get to everything I'm talking about here, they have to click the button that didn't exist when I made these videos. So let's go down to the first one, the tutorial for beginners. I'm gonna click the details button. That brings me into the video, the description. I'm gonna come down to the bottom where I have chapters and I'm gonna come in right after my last chapter. I'm gonna say correction. And the reason I'm putting these at five seconds, I don't know where the right place is to put it, but it just made sense to me because I know a lot of times a video will start auto playing and I may not really be paying attention or I might be in the process of clicking the play button to get it to go ahead and open up and I might miss something in that first couple of seconds. So I figured we'll do it at five seconds. Hopefully whoever's watching is settled in at that point. Now for this one, I made kind of a long note because as I just explained it to you, you can see it was more than a just see the update here and the new thing's great, but the old thing does things that the new thing can't do and it's all about flipping the switch and yeah, I'm confusing myself now. So I'm just gonna paste in the little note that I wrote, I'm just gonna save and that should be all I have to do. After waiting a few minutes, let's have a look and see if it's working. It should be popping up and there it is. View correction. And if the user clicks that, they come right down here where they see the chapters, the corrections. Now the playlist and the video they're showing down here, they are not because I made this correction. This video is part of a playlist. So it's showing that down here and they are showing the image to image tutorial video down at the bottom here because that is part of an end screen. So what I've done is at 15 seconds, I also added a card to this newer updated video. Normally I don't like putting cards early in the video because I don't wanna take somebody away from one video off to another but in this case i'm trying to make sure that early on they know there's another version and i'll also come down here to my pinned comment and i'm going to edit that and add in the same information that explains what's going on and hopefully helps people find exactly what they're looking for. I can't believe this feature has been out for two years and I just found out about it. Maybe everybody in the world knew about it but me. But anyway, I hope you found this helpful or if not, maybe just fun and entertaining watching me be stupid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.